Hi folks, Gary Bunzer here, the RV doctor. I've got a letter or an email rather from uh, Craig Volkendukenberg. Craig, I hope I pronounced that correctly. That's, that was easy. Well, it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be, but uh, Craig is uh, emailing us from Langley, British Columbia, our neighbors, our neighbors to the north. He writes this, Dear Gary, I have a 2006 uh, travel trailer with a slide out. It, it got a little cold last weekend and the water lines froze up in our trailer and in a lot of our friends' trailers as well. Have you got any ideas on where to begin improving on the insulation? Are there any products you recommend? Well, Craig, I, it is getting that time of year, as you know. Uh, it's getting chilly up here in the Northwest, especially, and uh, it won't be long until we do have to take some precautions if we're gonna continue to use our RVs uh, during the winter months. One thing you can do, one thing I do recommend, is that you go to one of the big box home improvement stores and buy that slit insulation. You've seen it, it's just a, a, a tubular looking type of uh, foam insulation with a, with a slit along uh, the lateral side of it. So you can slip it over existing piping and tubing that you'll find in your RV. That's one of the best things you can do. I don't recommend stuffing extra insulation uh, like fiberglass insulation around the water pump or anything like that because we don't want to have a buildup of heat. But to insulate the pipes, especially those near the exterior walls of the RV, for instance, in my coach here, this is an exterior wall. So if the, if the water pipe is located or the tubing is close to the uh, outside walls, uh, those are the ones that probably need more protection than others. So I would indeed recommend using the uh, slit insulation tubing that you can buy at any of the big home improvement stores.